Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the iPhone XS silicone case and leather case. And I got these a couple days ago, but I thought I'd wait till we had the actual phones. Uh, you know, because what's the point of using a 10 to show off cases that were released for the XS? You know, what if something's different? Who knows? But here, let's go ahead and open up the XS leather case and uh, take it out. I got it in this blue color, which is, I believe, new. And uh, I got it because I just love the way the blue looks. I'm a huge fan of blue in general. But I thought this one looked really, really nice. I believe it's called like Cape Cod Blue or something. And I'm from Massachusetts, so the color plus the name, it just kind of got me there. Now let's go ahead and open here the silicone case. I got it in red just because it's a very nice and striking color and uh, really matches nicely with this blue leather case here, especially for the video and especially for the thumbnail too. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up without breaking the package and pull it out. And here we have it, looks very nice. The materials have definitely not changed in any way. Um, they kind of, or maybe actually the silicone case. I don't know, the silicone case feels really good. Probably not, maybe just imagine it. Let's go ahead and put the red on the black, which I think is a great combo. The top first, then the bottom. And uh, yeah, that looks really nice. Of course, it's just to kind of see how it looks on the device. You can see all the ports down here at the bottom. Um, it covers nothing up. We have access to that new antenna line right there. Everything is there. I'm pretty sure it's still using the same design though as uh, last year's model. I don't think anything here is definitely new. I don't know, these rubber buttons are nice. We have an opening here for the ringer switch and uh, it's covered here as well for the sleep and wake button. And uh, yeah, you can see the camera here. You can see a little bit of that rim around it. So if you have the gold or the silver or anything, it is gonna show through. Let's put it on here on the silver and check that out. Then we'll get to the blue one in a second. And look how good it looks. I think it's just this red color just looks so good. Apple recently has just kind of nailed making red products. They just look really good. You can see how nicely the silver comes through here on the camera. Some of that stainless steel coming through at the bottom. And uh, of course the front, from the front when you look at it, pretty much looks like the uh, space gray phone. I mean, you can see a little bit of the silver here, but overall you're hiding all that silver around the edges. So uh, you can always hide that if you don't like the silver and put a case on it. And you know, if you always use a case, then you might as well choose the phone color that's gonna look good with the case and not necessarily just the phone color that you like. And uh, here we have the, I put this on wrong again. It's just, I have this tendency of doing it incorrectly in video just cause I'm looking through the camera and I'm just kind of doing things without thinking. But uh, here's the blue color with the silver phone, which looks just really nice. And I really like the way it looks. Overall, I've never been a fan of Apple's leather cases. Not, not a huge fan of, first of all, I think the price is like $50 and this one's $40. But you know, this, this color just kind of makes up for the fact. And uh, yeah, I know that these weather down nicely and everything. So if you're a fan of the leather cases, man, is this blue color nice. I really like it. And it looks really nice here with the silver. Personally, I'm gonna go with the space gray this year. Whoop. So let's see how it looks with that. One of the things that I mentioned in previous videos is that these cases don't really last if you tend to remove them a lot. And that's mainly because the edges here are a little bit fragile because of the kind of plastic membrane it uses inside and then it's covered in leather and or silicone. So if you tend to remove it and put it on a lot, you'll end up kind of messing it up and uh, ruining it. But I think if you go to Apple, they'll change it for you, but who knows, whatever. Let me go ahead and unlock this. And uh, you can see it there. Of course, on the front, it's gonna look exactly like the silver or gold. It's when you look at the bottom and when you look at the back that you're gonna notice the little accents and how it's gonna end up looking. And uh, it just looks really nice. I mean, I think we just chose the best two cases here to show off their leather and silicone line just because they look so darn Good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unfortunately, you know, I got the 10 Max and I didn't get a case for the 10 Max here. But uh, yeah, so I couldn't show you guys how the uh, gold one looks with cases, unfortunately. I mean, I could put this on kind of here just so you can see, but of course it's not gonna be the same as actually putting the case on the phone, but <laughs> you can kind of see how uh, red looks there with the gold. Not not the most ideal thing. I think the gold would look best with like blues and um, not such, vibrant color. Maybe they have like a brown one on there and stuff like that. Definitely not the colors I have here with gold, but of course, you know, it's based on taste. So if you like it, who cares? And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a thumbnail here right on the video. Make this real good. 
we'll click bait with the gold one here and the back off to the side and uh, we'll bring these close to here. I really hope I end up using it as a, as a thumbnail, if not, it's just a waste of time. But uh, here, maybe we'll go with these two here. We'll write some text here, maybe no text, depends. Who knows, I'll maybe choose one of those. But yeah, guys, that's the silicone case and the leather case from Apple. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out to me at rmardno on Twitter or Instagram or anything like that, and I'll get back to you there. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out all the other ones and subscribe to stay tuned for more. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.